here I'm going to download the latest update and I'm using a Macintosh so it's slightly different I have to do a little bit of housekeeping first before I can download the latest update so I've always connect, I've already connected my USB I'm going to open it up here is the last update now with the Macintosh I have to get rid of that first I'm going to move it here to my backup here it is it's backing up uh, the older version and now I have to get rid of this off my USB I'm going to put it in the trash I'm going to download the latest update and here it is downloading it takes a little bit of time because there's a lot of information there okay now it's downloaded I'm going to close that, I'm going to close this, I'm going to close this, and here it is on the desktop. Now I had to clean off that old one, remove it, because with a Macintosh uh, the new update doesn't overwrite the old one, it, it sees it as a different file and it gives it a new name. So now I'm going to put this on my USB. Here it is copying it. It's done. Now I can eject or shut down my USB. Okay. Disconnect it. Now I'm going to take it to the computer. Okay, I'm going to touch system is program update. So I'm going to touch that. Waiting for the USB drive. Plug it in. And it will tell me when it's done. It says it's found it. And now it's going to restart IQ. Always does this when you update the program it will restart it. My machine's already in the center of the table, so I just press continue, and I'm done. And um, at the bottom of the screen is, is displayed the latest version number. Uh, when Zoltan posts the updates, it always has the version number there. So after you've put it on your IQ, check there that the, that the number has changed, and then you know it was successful. Now you can take out the USB, and then you have the latest update on your IQ.